Hello, hello. Uh, I have a quick tip here for um, rendering animations with Final Gather. So, um, what I have here is just a basic scene set up, uh, lighting it using Final Gather just on objects. And I can render it. And it looks nice and soft, and the lights are good. Um, but when it comes to actually animating the scene and then rendering it out for final, um, every time, every frame uh, that is that is rendered, sometimes the actual lighting uh, is slightly different, and you'll end up with flickering. So as you can, especially if you have lots of movement, you might get a lot of flickering in the shadows, especially, um, and that's relatively easy to fix. So to do so you want to go into render settings, um, be on mental ray, come over to indirect lighting, and scroll down the bottom to where we've got final gathering. So that'll be on. Um, and what we want to do is change these two settings here. Change this to off and change this to optimize for animations. Now it's important to note that you only want to do this when you're going to do your final render, uh, as in your batch render. If you do this, if you turn this off when you're just testing it out the the actual renders, it'll go crazy. I'll show you what you mean. <laughs> there you go. Let's go again. Every time you render it. Ooh, looks interesting now. What are we going to get? As you can see, it looks it looks terrible. <laughs> ah, it's artistic even. Like someone put this light in there with a palette knife. And then if I turn this back on, um, we'll go back to how it was nice and smooth again. So when you're testing the lights, just make sure you have this on just for rendering single frames for testing. But when you want to go to actually animate it, uh, to render off, your, render off your animation, you typically want to turn this off and turn that on. Um, and then, you know, go up to your batch render and render it off. Excellent. I hope that helps. Done.